What's up, Snorty Dude Crew? It's yours truly, Snorty Dude. Right now, I'm about to get into, uh, Polo G, brother. Ooh. Okay, so this is what I was talking about yesterday in that video. Um, actually, speaking of that video, so y'all know how I uploaded it and it just said reaction. Yeah, that was a mistake. I was gonna re-upload it, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let it live. I'm gonna let it live. I'm gonna let it live. People knew what the video was to in the first place, but it's just like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? It was kind of, it kind of, it kind of was unsettling because I was really, it really messed up my whole night uh, due to the fact, you know what I'm saying? I went to Top Golf last night. I was running behind going there, but I ended up, you know, still making it and whatnot. It wasn't until I got there, like, probably 20 minutes of being there because I scheduled the video for uh 9 30 so like me 20 minutes of being there hey you know what I'm saying like uh I get the notification it just says reaction and it blew it almost blew my whole night but I'm like you know what it is what it is <coughs> folks having a time of their life in the comments let it live but let's go ahead and get into this video though originally two video been out screwed so did I say that already let's, you know what it is has become one of the most dangerous jobs in America. It feels like artists and the people in their circle have been dropping left and right over the past few years. 26-year-old rapper King Von, whose real name is Davon Bennett, was one of six people shot last Friday near Trinity Avenue. The most recent lives lost in the rap game are B Money 1300, Polo G's best friend, and Memphis rapper YNC Capo. Let's take a closer look at these two stories. B Money 1300. Polo G is so I thought this was this was his blood brother because he does have a, a a blood brother if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I thought it was his blood blooder. So uh, I don't know if the uh, if I said that in the video, but in real life, like right now, I, until he just said that, I thought that was his real brother. So yeah, my bad for the misinformation. But I think y'all probably corrected me in the comments. I haven't looked at the comments yet on that last video. I usually look at all that when I upload a new video, but whatever one of the biggest artists in the game right now. But all the fame and success can't save you from everything. Just recently, it was announced that the rapper's childhood friend, B Money 1300, was shot and killed at a house party in Chicago. Polo G grew up in the Marshall Field Gardens apartments in North Chicago. He and B Money had known each other since they were kids and stayed friends throughout his entire come up. B Money acted as his hype man and Polo is often referred to him as a little brother or his blood brother. Polo has also said that B Money was one of the first people who encouraged him to pursue rap seriously, and without him, he doesn't know if he would have made it this far. It's not entirely clear what happened, but it's been reported that B Money was killed at a house party that took place somewhere between the Cabrini Green and Marshall Field houses, near where he and Polo grew up in Chicago. Some people are claiming it was his own birthday party, but this is unconfirmed. The tragic thing is that B Money wasn't even living in Chicago at the time. He had left and moved to LA with Polo and had just gone back to his hometown for a visit. But in the wild city of Chicago, just coming home for a visit can be dangerous. Even Chief Keef stays away from Chicago, partially because he's forced to by law, but also because it's so dangerous even for a famous rapper. The weekend that B-Money was murdered, five people were shot and killed, and another 40 were injured from gun violence, making it one of the deadliest weekends of the year for Chicago. But unfortunately, that- Bruh, another 40? <laughs> They're like, that's just, okay. Another 40. Okay, buddy. That's just another day in Chirac. It's possible that B-Money wasn't even the target. He was just at the wrong place at the wrong time and got caught in the crossfire. Although Polo is known to be affiliated with the 1300 set of the Vice Lords, he isn't the type of rapper who's constantly dissing ops in his music and actively beefing with dudes who are still in the streets. So, it seems unlikely. Y'all put me on game. Nobody else put me on game but you niggas. I didn't even know. But... Y'all know when this nigga Polo G says like fluky or something like that? That's a person? I swear to God I didn't know. What Polo, uh, what Polo G video was that I did? It's one of the last five Polo G, Polo G videos. It's one of the last five. Or it's probably from the last album. Nevertheless, he said some, um, I heard he died upon some fluky shit. Something along them lines. And y'all was like, Snore, that's woo 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 woo. Shit, I ain't told you I'm Polo G's one of them niggas I really don't know nothing about. 1300, that's it. That's it. About it. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I'm gonna say I, I want to say this is some mis misinformation. He just a little bit more wittier, and due to the fact, you know, um, well, he's popular now, but a year or so ago, or two years ago, whatever, he ain't as popular as he is today. Long story short, to date, he's the most popular he's ever been to date. Type shit. Likely that B Money would have been killed over his affiliations to Polo or 1300, unless it has to do with some old beef that started before rapping. Not too many details about the shooting have been released to the public, so it's tough to know exactly what happened. After the news broke, Polo shared a post on Instagram mourning his best friend's death. Underneath a collage of photos of him with B Money, he wrote, My brother, man, on Gucci. I can't see myself doing this shit without you, broski. I know I'll never meet a nigga like you again, one of the realest s I ever met in my life. I always made sure I reminded you that you was the heart of the hood. You know how to make a whole room smile. Couldn't nobody stay mad around you. You was the very first n to ever show me support in this shit when wasn't nobody stunning this shit for real. You let me know I could do it and have my back all the way. My first shows, my first videos, the shit I first recorded, you was the first to hear it. This shit stretched all the way to the sandbox though, before this rap shit. We was just rocking stages and hopping off jets, broski. Shit ain't supposed to be like this. You know I'ma turn up for you though, for sure. I love you, broski. Just watch over me, broski. I got you, man. So, it wasn't like he and B Money just linked up when he started rapping. They go way back to the sandbox, and he was there for his first show and video. It's a tragic situation, and condolences go out to Polo and B Money's family. B Money isn't the only close friend Polo has lost to the streets. When he was 15, he lost his friend T Gucci, who Polo shouts out in this post. Polo has said in interviews that Gucci's death changed his whole outlook on life. That that really like messed up my understanding. Like I ain't understand like how I'm only 15, my homie only 16 years old, and he you feel me died to gunfire. Like I, I it really messed up my understanding for like. And it's what made him start rapping in the first place. The G in his name is even a tribute to his dead friend Gucci. I always used to love Polo coming up. I always okay. used to tell my mama go grab that, and then the G. <laughs> The G stand for uh, Gucci, that's for my uh, friend who passed away. It must be tough to make it so far in the world and get all your close homies out of the hood only for your best friend to fall victim to the cycle of violence just by visiting home for a weekend. But at least he took him out on tour and showed him a better life while he was still around. Hopefully, Polo can take some time off from his touring schedule to properly mourn the death of his friend. YNC Capo. YNC Capo was an up and coming rapper. I actually did a video on this guy like probably a year or so ago or two years ago from Memphis who was allegedly shot and killed on August 15th. At this point, his death has not been confirmed video. by official sources, but many of his friends and family members have gone on social media to send their condolences. Capo was known for tracks like Feeling Like Capo and Memphis City Blues. He had built a decent buzz for himself in the city and was beginning to get recognized for his talent. He even shared a bunch of photos to his Instagram of himself hanging out with Pooh Shiesty, showing that he was starting to network with some of the biggest rappers in the city. So, it seems like it was only a matter of time before he took his music to the next level. But it doesn't seem like he would make it that far. On August 15th, 2021, the local Memphis News reported that a man had been shot and killed around 11.30 p.m. near the 3700 block of North Walking Street in Fraser, a neighborhood in North Memphis. A man who claims to be Capo's uncle shared the news story in a Facebook post with the caption, I love you, nephew, and tagged YNC Capo. Another woman, who seems to be his aunt, shared his picture on Facebook with the caption, Lord, so many questions unanswered. Lord, please help us, help my family. We need you, Lord, right now. YNC Capo, my nephew, Lord, give us strength. Plus, dozens of fans went on social media to mourn his death. So even though the rumors have not been officially confirmed, it seems likely that the rapper or his team would have come forward by now if he was still alive. Other rumors say that Coppa was shot after being carjacked and ended up dying from his injuries. Allegedly, he pulled into a gas station in Fraser when someone pulled up with a gun and stole his white infinity, shooting him in the hip in the process. According to those who knew him, Capo didn't have any serious beef with anyone and was just focused on his grind and his career. So it seems likely he may have lost his life in a simple robbery. Four other people. Bro, niggas are carjacking niggas for affinities? Now, don't get me wrong, them affinities are, you know what I'm saying? Some of them are pretty, pretty deep, like decent, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't no scat. I ain't a, I ain't a hell cat, you know. Damn, shout out to this nigga. I really did a video on him. RP the Capo. RP be money too, though. But for the most part, though, bro, what is going on out here, bro? A scat? I mean, not a scat, an affinity? That's where you niggas are. Quote, unquote, basically throwing your life away. 
Your life changed forever after that. Get caught or not get caught. <laughs> your shit changed forever. Okay. People were shot and killed in the city, all within the same four hour stretch that Capo died, making it a pretty wild weekend for Memphis as well. It seems like the summer is coming to an end and the violence is gonna continue to get crazier and crazier until it starts to cool off. Even if Capo wasn't known to beef with other rappers, he was known to flex. And he can be seen on Instagram stunning with stacks of money, new cars, and designer outfits. In a city like Memphis, flexing can get you killed even faster than beefing if you aren't careful. Because there are always dudes who will try you if they catch you out by yourself. So right now, it seems like Capo is another rapper who was at the wrong place at the wrong time and fell victim to someone jealous of the things that he had worked hard for. The deaths of B-Money 1300 and YNC Capo are two back-to-back -back losses for the rap game. Even though they weren't huge stars, they both clearly had an impact on the people around them and could have brought a lot to the game if they had more time to see the benefits of their hard work. It's even more tragic that it seems like they were killed in random events and not situations that could have potentially been avoided. But it should be a lesson to any rapper, big or small, that you have to move smart and watch the people you keep around you because you never know when someone could test you. RIP to B-Money 1300 and YNC Capo. Stay tuned for updates if any more information gets released on either case. If you thought this video was crazy, be sure to check out our channel for more. From hidden sneak disses and rap to the criminal history of Polo G, we cover the most insane stories that you need to hear. Well, that's all for today. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss any great videos like this. Catch you in the next one. All right, that is really just like, uh, gave me a little bit more uh, understanding on the whole situation, especially with the B Money and Polo G situation. Okay, I, I at first I really thought them two were brothers. And uh, I honestly didn't even know he was going to put YNC Capo in the video. I, I really didn't know, but RP to him too. You know, I, I did, what video was that I did too? It was, it was a minute ago. He was 16 at the time when I did that video, may I add. So that was like, I don't know, uh, probably two years ago, a year ago. I want to say two years ago. It was probably when I first got my other camera when I did that video. Or I probably still have my webcam, but it's still up. I never took it down. So, yeah. But uh, RP to both of them gentlemen. Uh, other than that, though, man, I'm going to get up out of here. It's your boy Snore. I'm gone.